everyone welcome back to my channel as you've seen on the title this video will be a q and a so on my instagram i put up a story saying ask me questions that you would like to know just to get to know me a little bit better so that's what this video is going to entail i will just be going about my day as usual and answering some of your questions I'm Nigerian. I was born in Nigeria. I moved to the UK when I was about 11. I have been here for decades. I'm about to head out to do some bouldering, so I thought, why not answer some of your questions before I leave? And the first one, well, technically second, uh, I am how to, well how tall I was gonna answer it without reading how tall are you and how much do you weigh I am six foot two and 113.3 kilos I weighed myself this morning it was about 240 something pounds 49 I think favorite Japanese YouTube channels um, I have quite a few actually so I put them up as as I speak over them and these channels I absolutely love for different reasons a lot of them are pretty chilled out and laid back I get a lot of inspiration from these channels as some of you probably notice and some of these channels um, I find just when I'm in a stressful mood just just chill me out so this is why I watch them and uh, yeah really enjoy them hobbies out of the gym is which is what I'm doing today Gonna go some, do some bouldering you're gonna come along with me um, as well as I love reading I know it sounds cliche but I love reading fiction books and uh, going out for food um, my friends is probably a hobby I know it sounds, <laughs> I know that doesn't sound much but that's what you know one of my hobbies and uh, watching anime I, is that a hobby yeah watching anime and k-drama it's also an army a hobby Uh, yeah, um, I don't have much of a, much of a hobby, I guess. Um, yeah, let's go. Be honest with you i have had years of not being happy with myself who i am i have struggled with anxiety for years and i struggled sometimes to wake up in the morning and just not knowing what i wanted to do in my life and it's only been the past two years if i am 100 percent honest with you that things have been different what keeps me going every day is knowing that i have a goal i want to accomplish and i have you know my family i have to look after i look after my mum my little brother back home in nigeria and also that i want to do the absolute best to make myself feel proud i'm not doing it for anyone else but myself and that's honestly what keeps me going and having some really great people around me if you've watched my vlogs you see all um, the people I have around me my friends that I have around me I don't have that many but the the few I have are always great to have around and I can be myself and never they never judge me for who I am and they never judge me for how I act <laughs> so um, they keep me going as well as you know just wanting to be constantly a better person and uh yeah hopefully that made sense oh just finished climbing it is raining uh so this question uh is a very good one actually because i used to be very self-conscious when i used to film outside and that's why I'm doing this bit now. Uh, now I don't care. 
Um, and honestly, most people don't care either. I know sometimes my fear was people judging me or how I come across um, on on uh, camera. And uh, I just realized that you either like me or you don't. For me also, what works is I act like I'm talking to a friend. So the camera is my friend, you guys are my friends and I'm talking to you. And that uh, really helps me actually. But to be honest, I still do feel self-conscious sometimes. Um, it's normal, but uh, yeah, now I just, I just get on with it. Uh, next question, break the mold merch. Oh, I get asked quite often and I'm grateful for that. I will work on it. Um, and yeah, <laughs> you just caught me in the middle of filming. Right, no, <laughs> no, no, <you're>, wait to <laughs> <on>. everyone. <laughs> the merch will come out hopefully, hopefully next year. I get asked a lot of times about them. Uh, it's awesome. So yeah, watch this space next year. So this question is quite common for me because um, I do watch a lot of anime and uh, I got into anime. Um, of course, we all started with Pokemon, Dragon Ball Z, but um, I never really took anime seriously until I watched Death Note, which is one of my all time favorite anime. And the depth of the storyline, um, it's a psychological thriller. It made me think and uh, I realized anime was more than just a kid's cartoon. Um, and there's more to the storylines than, you know, just fighting. Um, so I was captivated by it and I soon realized that, you know, I thought Dragon Ball Z was the best thing in the world. Some people will probably disagree, but I actually now Dragon Ball Z is not even in my top 20. And I just, yeah, I can relate a lot to how much they write a lot of characters in anime as well. And that is the reason why I got into anime. Also, this was very hard for me to put together a list of the my favorite um, anime, but I just thought I'll put at least my top 10 so far. Okay, this isn't an anime, but you should definitely, definitely check out Arcane. I watched it. It was awesome. I, I wasn't sure about it at first, but trust me. So this question, believe it or not, I get asked a lot because um, it doesn't seem like I do anything. <laughs> um, I am, uh, I would say, a content creator. 
uh, I'm not an influencer. Um, I don't think I am anyway. So um, I create fitness content, even though this is a vlog and I haven't done so in a while. I started as a fitness um, content creator um, on Instagram and then on YouTube. And I earn a living from my online coaching. I am also sponsored, woo sponsored by Woo, sponsored by PhD Nutrition for Supplements. I am also sponsored by Vivo Barefoot, which is the shoes you see me wearing all the time. I am also sponsored by Gymshark, which of course is the clothing. <laughs> uh, I am sponsored by Romwood, which is a mobility company. And also I have I don't know if you watched my last vlog, I have a skin uh, skincare sponsor now. So, uh, and I get paid. I'm lucky I've been with Gymshark and Whoop and PhD for two plus years. Gymshark for about four or five years now. And of course I've got my um, online coaching, um, um, my fitness app as well. So um, it, is a, it is a job, it's a full time job, <laughs> believe it or not. Yes, yes I am, and uh, that's by choice too. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, she's doing it. Action. Action. Pretend, so, you haven't, just pretend you haven't seen me and I just walked in. So, Obi? No, so this is, you're an actress, so act like you just see me for the, today. <laughs> Oh, How are hello. you? How are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting my hair done. I just had my food delivered, but I'm not a princess. Yeah, but <laughs> this is the second time that we caught Sarah <laughs> getting her hair done by yeah, someone else. I know. And she's, she's, she's even asked me where I'm going on my holidays. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do it what, what is this? What is this one called? Is, have you got a special name for this? Well, the last one was MMA. Oh no, this is just so, a French braid, right? Oh, just, just a, a normal French braid. Okay. What's it called? It's just a normal French braid. Okay. Just a normal French braid. I'm gonna pretend I know what that means. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a common question I get asked often, and um, I haven't fully transitioned to CrossFit. I mix CrossFit into my training. That's why I call myself a cross lifter. And this is purely because I love some elements of CrossFit training, but I still enjoy bodybuilding aspect. But I also do strength and conditioning and functional training too. Now, being a bigger guy and six foot two CrossFit is hard. It took me months for, I think it took me about six months to fully get the mobility and improve on my conditioning. I'm still trying to improve, but um, I would always be disadvantaged just being a, a bigger, heavier guy um, when it comes to a lot of CrossFit uh, workouts, especially anything with gymnastics. <music> difference between the ebooks and my app is with the ebooks it has volume one to three and a lot of the original dumbbell and kettlebell workouts whereby the app has the newer volume so volume four volume five is coming out soon in hopefully january and we've got dumbbells uh, we have kettlebells or volume twos and three on the app so if you wanted to try out the ebook and see if you enjoy the training, you can do that. However, the app is monthly. It's a dollar for the first month and then it's $14.99 afterwards. It's a month to month contract. You can cancel whenever you want. With the ebooks, it's just a one off payment. So it's all depending on what you prefer. Serious question. Say hi to everyone. Can I just <laughs> <laughs> How do you understand? <laughs> <laughs> 
So I have been training for well over a decade and um, yeah, that is how long it's taken me to look like this. <laughs> Let's go, do some French. Okay, here we go. Louis, I bought you a croissant. <laughs> They were your fans. Never. They were never yours. They so basically, I've lost, lost my channel. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it is wet, wet, wet. Uh, this is a great, great. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> this is a great question. Uh, I think you all pretty much know the answer to this, and that's Japan, of course. Uh, that would be awesome. Um, yeah. It's on my bucket list. It's a country that I would love, love, love to go. So Japan, please let us in. Honestly, I have no idea how much calories uh, and what my macros are. I don't count anymore. I did for years when I purely did bodybuilding training. However, I then started to have an unhealthy relationship with food and I decided to just stop counting. So now I eat however I like and however I feel. Yeah, I just feel it's more enjoyable and I enjoy my food. For me, that is the most important thing. I love food, I want to enjoy food. So um, no, unfortunately no, I don't, I don't calculate my macros or um, calories. If I can go back and talk to my younger self, I would tell the 21 year old me who had a breakdown at, this was so random, it was at a bus stop in Kingston. I went to Kingston University and um, basically I wasn't sure if the UK would allow me to stay in the country. I might have been deported and I remember just breaking down and remember thinking, I don't know where my life is going. I didn't think I had a future. I had really dark thoughts then and if only I could say to myself, you know what, things will be okay. You will be doing better than you think and that life gets easier. And loads of people are going to be watching you on the internet <laughs> and know who you are. And fitness is going to be your thing and you will be filming yourself, vlogging your life and people would actually think that's worth watching everything is going to be just fine. And that is something I wish I, I could tell my younger self. And it's okay to be yourself and it's okay to let other people in and be open. Don't be so closed off and don't be so um, negative all the time. This year, my mindset is, you know what? Everything's going to be okay. And also I've learned to be more open and more, and put myself out there and, you know, open to making new friends rather than being closed off. And um, yeah. And also I started vlogging this year. So that's been a major, major thing for me is, hey, you know what? You know, your life may be simple, it may be boring to some, but it's your life and you shouldn't be ashamed of it. And I think the biggest thing is, wow, some people actually care and some people actually want to see what I get up to rather than just the fitness aspect. So um, yeah, that's, that's the lesson I've learned. This has been a very long video. I am sorry. Um, there were some great questions. I couldn't even answer most of them. So thank you if you've made it to the end. <laughs> Appreciate you for listening and watching. And as always, I appreciate every single one of you that watch and like my videos. And yeah, till the next one. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm doing the half as well. What am I saying? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. What was that? Hang on, I'm doing half there. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Mind yourself. Mind yourself. <laughs> you ready? Ready. Action. Jump!
don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. <laughs>